After nearly 42 years of service and one final flight, the Virginia Guard's longest serving aviator, Chief Warrant Officer Norman McIntosh, retired. Mr. McIntosh joined the Army on October 16, 1968, and has served in the Virginia Guard since 1971. In front of his family, friends, and colleagues, Mr. McIntosh was presented with the Virginia National Guard Legion of Merit by Major General Daniel Long, Adjutant General of Virginia. It's just We don't do enough for folks that have done so the great things that you've done, so it's an honor for me to be here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Prior to joining the Virginia National Guard in 1971, Mr. McIntosh served in the Vietnam War. There, he flew a total of 1,334 combat hours and received the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Bronze Star Medal, and 54 Air Medals, among other awards. During his time with the Virginia National Guard, Mr. McIntosh participated in many rescue and relief efforts across the Commonwealth. He volunteered and participated in the rescue and relief efforts of every Virginia disaster, including the Virginia Southwest Floods of 1976, Shenandoah Valley and Southwest Floods 1985, Madison County Floods 1995, Hurricane Dennis 1999, with Hurricane Floyd in that same year. Mr. McIntosh mobilized in 1990 for operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield, where he flew medical evacuation missions. In 1996, he became the first aviator to achieve the newly created rank of Chief Warrant Officer 5. During his career, he flew a variety of helicopters, including the Hughes TH-55, the Bell UH-1, and the UH-60 Blackhawk, and has a total of 5,600 flight hours. I'm speechless, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going to miss the flying, I'm going to miss the people. We've uh, done a lot of state duty, gave me the opportunity to serve Desert Storm, and uh, I just thank everyone. From Richmond, Virginia, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Tara Gaddy.